Welcome back to the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay series. In this video, we will take a look at profiles, favorites, and your squad. As you level up in Mass Effect Andromeda, you'll gain access to dozens of skills and over 300 skill upgrades. You're free to pick any skill without being limited to a class, which allows you to create a Pathfinder that is totally suited to how you want to play. As we discovered last time, there are three main types of skills in the game. Combat, Tech, and Biotics. As you unlock skills over the course of the game, you'll also start gaining access to profiles. There are seven types. Let's take a look at two of them, the Adept and the Explorer. The Adept profile is perfect for players who want to specialize in Biotics. As you choose more Biotic skills, the Adept profile will give you bonuses to suit your playstyle. And as you can see, choosing Adept gives bonuses to duration and damage of your Biotics. The more you invest in those skills, the higher level profiles you can unlock. Or maybe you want to be more versatile, choosing some combat mixed with biotic and tech skills. This will unlock the Explorer profile, giving you perks and buffs that enhance all your abilities. And of course, you can swap these profiles at any time, allowing you to keep the action fresh, giving you a number of ways to tackle every battle, and making sure you never feel locked into a particular style of play. This brings us to favorites. Favorites are a quick way to map three skills and a single profile to one slot. Any time during combat, you can switch between one of these four slots, giving you access to up to 12 of your favorite skills during the course of a single fight. Here's an example. In this battle, I've equipped a favorites loadout designed for long-range combat, utilizing cloak and a sniper rifle to suppress oncoming enemies. The sniper alone isn't enough, so I'll deploy an assault turret and toss some grenades before switching to my second favorites loadout. It's designed for close quarters combat. Loading these new abilities puts them in a cooldown by default, so I'll have to make do with my shotgun until they're ready. The Fiend is too powerful and I'm not in any position to take it out immediately, but my new favorites are ready. I'll make my getaway using Biotic Charge and then maneuver around this group of enemies. This favorites loadout is particularly combo friendly, so I'll engage by comboing Cryo Beam and Lance for an explosive result, then clean up with my shotgun. It looks like the Fiend has taken an interest. I'll do what I can from a distance before switching to my third favorites loadout. One that emphasizes ranged biotic abilities such as Backlash and Shockwave, as well as Flamethrower. Let's see if we can find a better vantage point and stall the Fiend's approach. Using Backlash, I can shield myself from oncoming fire and deflect it back at the enemy. This is particularly useful against large crowds of enemies. However, this horde is scattered, so I'll need to regroup. Looks like the Fiend has other plans. I'll stand my ground by using Shockwave and then follow that up with Flamethrower. The Fiend is hurt, but it's going to take more than that to defeat it. Switching to my final favorites loadout, I'll engage the Fiend with soldier-focused abilities. Let's finish it off with Flat Cannon and Trip Mines. And when it comes to combat, don't forget your squad. Each of your six squad mates has three active and two passive skills. In this case, Cora uses her biotics as a support character, and Drac is a bruiser who can soak up lots of damage. Not only can you set your squad up around the battlefield, ordering them to defend locations, attack targets, or rally to your side, but you can also team up with them for devastating power combos. Power combos activate when you or one of your squad mates primes an enemy or groups of enemies, setting them up for the kill. Then you or a squad mate jumps in to detonate and finish the job. And you can always level up your squad mates to make them specifically good at priming or detonating targets. Subscribe to see the next installment in the gameplay series for a look at exploration in Mass Effect Andromeda.